So I would like to invite here on stage Ralph Oliveira uh, to show us out. Ralph, please come on stage. Thank you, Luis. Let me so just what do you have there? I see this black cylinder there. So let me just connect to this uh, our remote environment. So what we have here is an integration between the Amazon Echo with uh, Business One on HANA running in the cloud. So uh, with these capabilities of HANA, we can use to leverage in Business One in a different level that we are used to in, uh, in, in Business One in SQL. So let's... So Ralph, yeah. is this a real demo? Is it it's a real environment or is it of a can demo that we have on the laptop? No, this is a, a real environment. We have this hosted in an in a, in a Amazon uh, Web Services running business one on HANA and what we're going to do here is interact as a business manager or a business consumer with our business one installation. C can I test it now? Yeah. Can I ask a can question? Just unmute it. So, Alexa, what's the time? It's 10.03 a.m. What's the time in Miami? Alexa, what's the time in Miami? The time in Miami. Florida is 9.03 a.m. Good. No, now you convince me. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So let's I go here to my system. Yeah. OK, so imagine you are uh, a business, uh, business manager and you want to do your daily tasks uh, in business one. For example, gather uh, some sales data, even from a salesperson or a sales performance for one specific item. And instead of going and logging into business one like you're used to do, like go into your system, put, your, put on your credentials, you could just ask Alexa how to do that. So uh, if I say, for example, oh, I, I mentioned her name, I'm sorry, I'll say, uh, Alexa, ask P1 to show me the numbers for storage. Alexa, ask B1 to show me the numbers for storage. Currently, our storage sales are around $342,835. So, uh, I'm having trouble typing here on, the, on this keyboard, but I just want to show for you the same information running on, on, the, on, on Business One. So. Oh, I got it. Perfect. So, okay, I have here my business one with a regular dashboard. So, for example, if you want to check for, uh, we just check the sales for storage, but imagine if I want to check, for example, the, server, the sales for servers. So, we can do the same interaction changing the item group. For example, Alexa, ask P1 to show me the numbers for servers. Currently, our server sales are on $470,520. So this is only possible because we are working on top of HANA platform and this allows us to integrate be easily business one with any kind of application. So let's go a little bit further. You are a business manager. You don't want to have only the, sale, the total amount of sales per item group, but imagine it, you want to go to a little bit more deeper, a little bit more into detail. So let's go, for example, uh, we have here this advanced dashboard, this uh, this year, year performance dashboard and I open, let's open one uh, specifically the year of 2015 right here and let's go specifically search for a, a quarter for example the first quarter of last year the sales for let's say electronics so we can just ask and give the details just like that so Alexa open B1 Hi, I am your B1 assistant. How can I help you today? Show me the sales numbers. Which item group do you want to know? Electronics. Got it. What quarter? First quarter of 2015. I am sorry, but there are no electronics sales in the fourth quarter of 1015. I'm sorry, the reverb is taking, is, is making her understand another thing, so let me try once again. Alexa? Open B1. This is B1 assistant speaking. What is my command? Show me the sales numbers. 
Which item group do you want to know? Electronics. Got it. What quarter? First quarter of 2015. The sales of electronics for the first quarter of 2015 are $4,650. So we have an issue with the reverb on the, on the walls here, but when I speak closer to her, she, she can understand. So uh, these are, this could be your day-to-day -day tasks, right? You, you, are, you don't want to stop doing what you're doing just to get a, a sales info, a sales KPI. You just go and ask. But let's switch to the other side. Like imagine, in, uh, let's put the shoes of your customers, a uh, uh, business one consumer. Like it, it means your customer, and you want to uh, interact with your with your company, making a purchase, for example, or getting a recommendation. And to this feature, I'm going to show you right now. We are implementing one uh, new business one feature that what re was released on the patch level four uh, that came out last month. Uh, it's called predictive analysis. I'm not going to much tech details here, but you can you can check this uh, in more in more details on edit sessions tomorrow. Uh, so what we have here is basically you know when you are entering in the in the Amazon front page uh, and it already knows the products you you purchased before in your 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 purchase purchase history and it recommends for you some items that you might like like customers like you might like these these and that items. So we have exactly the same feature running on Business One now, calling predictive analysis. So, what if I, uh, I acting as a consumer, could ask her for some item recommendation, for example? So, let me just zoom out here in this dashboard and show for you. You can see right here the number of uh, sales order we have open in this uh, installation. So, we have here this number, and let me ask her for a recommendation. Alexa, open B1. Hello, here is B1 Assistant. Let me know what do you wish. What do you have for me? I think you will like mouse USB. Can I order you a pack? No. Perhaps you would like some keyboard comfort USB. Did I get it right? Okay. Your order number 1198 was placed successfully. The total amount of your purchase is $35. So, okay, we got the order number, we got the total amount, and you can see right here on our Business One installation, we got a new order over there. So, let's check it. So, here we got this new sales order, and you can see here my keyboard, right? Uh, the total amount right here, just like she mentioned, and just a remark for us that this is from Alexa. Uh, all right, so uh, the, the, next, uh, the next step, uh, but okay, so now I'm just asking for an item recommendation and I'm getting uh, one, one item. But what if I can choose what I want to buy? Like a real customer experience, you don't need to enter on a, on a website, you don't need to uh, call someone and, ask, and to, to make an order. So what if you can choose uh, the details of your purchase? So we can do just like this. Alexa? Ask B1 for office supplies. Should I get you printer ink, paper or maybe a USB drive? Printer ink. Okay, how many packs do you need? 12 packs. May I add JB Laptop Batteries X2 series to this purchase? Fits good with printer ink. Okay. Your order number 1199 was placed successfully. The total amount of your purchase is $911.05. So once again, we can go to the last order right here. There it goes, my printer ink with a JB laptop battery. Uh, and this recommendation, this JB laptop battery was also due to the, inter to the predictive analysis feature, but now not only based on the customer, but the customer and the item this customer is purchasing. So uh, once again, we have here the comment saying that this came from this interaction. Uh, and those are some, some examples that you can see how easy it is to embrace the digital economy, the digital transformation on your daily operations. And with Business One now running on HANA, we can reach, we can take our ERP to levels we could never imagined before. So this is a small prototype we are building, but the idea here is to follow the same concept as the good examples of digital economy companies. So we start small like this, so in no matter that you can learn very fast how to leverage your business to scale real quickly.
Okay. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Isn't it amazing? Great job, Ralph. Ralph, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for you and the team making this possible.